So welcome, I'm Sarah. I'll be leading you through this 40 minute yoga sculpt class. As always, weights are optional if you want them. If you don't want them, don't worry about it. Um, for today's setup, just know that I put the weights actually um, kind of on the left side of my space. Typically I put them towards the top, but we're gonna actually have them on the left side. So if we're facing forward, they're just off to our left. Pretty easily accessible. As you are ready, find your way down onto your back. We're gonna start with our knees bent so we can help kind of protect the low back. And just laying down, maybe just let your arms open if you have the space. You can even kind of let your knees fall in towards each other, feet a little bit further out. And if you're like me and you've been sitting extra the last couple days, you can just let your knees windshield wiper gently side to side. And let your head rock side to side. Take a couple full deep breaths. Feel free to keep those feet planted to the ground. If you instead want to bring your knees to your chest, start to kind of squeeze them close, lengthening that low back even more. If those knees are pulling in, start to maybe roll the ankles. Rock a little side to side, start to move those legs kind of one at a time, take some circles. Opening close. Then we'll replant our feet to the ground, knees pointing straight up towards the ceiling. And we're going to inhale. We're going to start to lift our hips, roll up through the spine, finding your bridge pose. Let your arms reach all the way overhead. On your exhale, lower your hips, lower your arms. Two more. Inhale, lift the hips, arms reaching overhead. Exhale, lower arms and hips. Last one. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lowering hips, lowering arms. Now keep that right foot on the ground. Extend your left heel towards the ceiling and really try to flex that foot. So toes are pointing towards the face. We're just going to take five bridges with that right leg. Arms stay down and inhale, engage the glutes. Press your hips up. Left heel towards the ceiling. Exhale, lower down. Maybe even keep your low back hovering off the floor the whole time. So just lowering maybe about three-fourths. Inhale, press up. Exhale, lower, last two, inhale, lift. And lower, one more, inhale, lift. And all the way down, plant that left foot. We're gonna switch that out. Extend that right heel towards the ceiling, toes are really pointing towards the face. Inhale, press up. Exhale, lower, again, you can come all the way down or maybe just three fourths up. And lower, three more, lift. Exhale, lower, last two, lift. And lower, one more, inhale, lift. All the way down, plant that right foot. Now we're gonna press our palms together. Try to hug your elbows in towards each other. We're just gonna find these little toe and finger taps. So fingertips touch overhead. Coming back up. Again, let those fingertips try to touch the ground. And back up. Keep hugging your elbows towards the center. And back up. Now we're going to add the legs. So float the legs tabletop. As we exhale, toes and fingers reach out. Inhale, pull in. Exhale, tap. Inhale, in. Exhale, tap. Keep moving through this. Find your breath. Inhales are squeezing in, exhales lengthening. Hug your elbows towards each other, squeeze the legs in. We're here for eight. Your variations for seven, fast or slow. We're here six, 
four, five. Keep breathing, last four. Only for three, four, two. See if you can do one more, then bring those knees back in. You can roll off to your side, or if you want to kind of kick and rock and roll your spine a few times. We're going to come all the way up, finding our tabletop. So stacking those shoulders over wrists, hips over our knees, neutral spine here. Then inhale, soften your elbows, arch your spine, chin and chest, lift. Exhale, press the ground away, chin to chest. Inhale, cow, arch the spine. Exhale, cat back. Inhale, cow, arch. Exhale, cat back. One more, inhale, arch. Exhale, and cat back. And coming back to our neutral spine, we're going to tuck our toes and hovering tabletop. Press the ground away, begin to lift your knees. And rather than dropping your chest towards the ground, kind of press it away. Hug your knees in towards each other and in towards your elbows. Now rotate your elbows so they're not pointing out, but back towards your legs. Low belly pulls in. Hold here, find your breath in and out. Now just step your feet back, high plank, long spine, long legs. Hold here for three. Down dog, release in two. And one, start to press those hips up. And begin to pedal through your feet. Alternate some knee bends. Maybe even checking in with those shoulders, upper body. You can take a few rounds of high plank. Back to down dog if you'd like. Maybe even get a little twist in that lower body. Heels can drop to one side. You can twist and drop to the other. Just a couple more rounds of breath with any sort of movement here. And we'll start to settle towards down dog. If the hamstrings or low back are feeling extra tight, take a bend in the knees. Maybe even bring your feet closer towards your hands. And from here, we're going to inhale, look towards our hands, bringing our feet all the way up, taking a right dog. So feet can be pretty far apart. Maybe grab your elbow, shoulders. You want to open the chest. Hands can come behind you. And just stay for a few more rounds of breath here, hanging over those legs. We'll release our hands back down towards the ground. We're going to bring those feet all the way together to touch. We'll step our left foot back, finding a low lunge. You can just take a moment here, maybe kind of rock forward and back. And we'll bring that back knee down. Hands can stay down or reaching fingertips high. Option here to bring hands behind the head, open the elbows, take a little back bend, open the chest. We'll release our hands, lift that back knee up. Now open arm twist, right arm reaching high. You start to circle out that top wrist. You can begin to add some big arm circles, open the chest, and go both ways. And we'll bring that hand down, we'll step back to our high planks. And from knees or toes, lowering all the way down to our bellies. Interlace hands behind our head, press the legs into the ground, engage your glutes. And we're going to inhale, lift the chest, lift the arms, and lower down. Three more, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower, last two, lift straight up. And lower, one more, lift. And lower, hands to the ground, tabletop or high plank. Press straight back to your down dog. 
And inhale, look to your hands, bring your feet all the way up. Let your head be heavy for a moment, hang over. Now our right foot steps back, low lunge. And take a moment here, kind of shift forward and back. And our back knee all the way down, hands can stay. Or reaching up or find that back bend, hands behind the head, lifting chin and chest. And we'll release our hands down, lift that back knee up. Open twist, left fingertips towards the ceiling. Again, maybe start to circle your wrist. And add those arm circles, opening the chest. Go both ways. And to the ground, stepping back, high planks. From knees or toes, lower all the way down. Keep the hands right where they are. And just start to lift your chin and chest. Begin to float your hands. Engage your glutes. Press the legs into the ground here for three. Release tabletop, high plank in two. And one tabletop or high plank. And down dog, stretch back. All right, inhale, send your right leg high, stretch that heel towards the ceiling. Now bend that knee, bring it towards your chest, shift forward, look towards your back leg. Inhale, right leg high. Again, knee to nose, curl the spine, shift forward, one more, right leg high. We're going to bring it all the way through to our low lunge. You kind of help that foot forward. Press down a high crescent lunge. Reach the fingertips high. Try to pull our right hip back, left hip forward. Now we're going to start to add on a little bit here. On your exhale, airplane your arms, chest forward. Option to lift your front heel. Now inhale, heel down, lift the arms, lift the chest. Exhale, airplane the arms, front heel can lift. Inhale, heel down, high crescent lunge. Exhale, airplane the arms, lift the heel. One more, high crescent lunge. Airplane the arms, lift your heel. High crescent lunge, lift up. We're going to open to our warrior two, back heel down. Keep those front right knees and toes pointing straight forward. Right hand, right elbow to our knee, left arm reaching all the way overhead. You can find some more circles here. Just kind of start to open the chest. Go the opposite way. Try to lengthen that left side of your body. Now that left arm pulls you up. Stretch that front leg, reverse triangle. And standing tall, returning both feet to that side. We're gonna bring our hands down towards the ground. Now, if you wanna bring your weights with you, grab your weights, bend your knees, turn your heels towards the center, toes towards the corners, and we're gonna stand all the way back up and hug your elbows in towards your ribs. Now, bring those palms so they're like a tabletop. Re-bend your knees. Think of trying to press your knees open. We're gonna add a little pulse in the lower body. Option to start to pulse those arms, really mini. Just use your triceps, up and down. Weights or no weights. Think more about like an elevator, straight up, straight down. Find that breath, shoulders out of the ears, here for eight. For seven, you can take it even smaller, micro movement for six. For five, or take it bigger, for four. For three. Two, and one, stretch those legs, turn the toes, bring those weights and hands back down to the ground. Turn to our front foot, low lunge. Now step back to your high planks. We're adding on shoulder taps, right hand to left shoulder, and down, switch, tap, and down, tap, down. Keep moving through this if you want to. You can take your feet further apart. Maybe that helps you or try to squeeze those legs together. 
Keep tapping and alternating. Hips stay towards the ground here for eight. For seven. For six. Your down dog in five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Press back to your down dog. Take your breath in. Breath out. Breathe in when you need. Breathe out when you need. We're inhaling, stretching our left heel towards our ceiling. Bend the knee to your chest. Shift forward. Look toward your back foot. Inhale, stretch up. Again, knee to your nose. Shift forward. One more. Stretch up. All the way through to your low lunge. You can kind of help that foot come forward. High crescent lunge. Reach up. Again, we're adding on as we exhale, airplane the arms. Option to lift your front heel. Inhale, heel down, high crescent lunge. Exhale, airplane the arms, heel lifts. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Exhale, airplane lift the heel. Inhale up one more. Airplane the arms, lift the heels. High crescent lunge. Breathe here. Now, warrior two, spin that right heel down. Open those arms up. Keep those left knees and toes pointing forward. Left hand, left arm to our knee. Bring that right arm all the way overhead. Again, you can start to find some movement. Circle that arm. Open the chest. Go both ways. Right arm pulls you up straight in that left leg, reverse triangle. Now standing up again, turn both feet to that side. Bring your feet a little bit closer together. We're gonna reach our arms straight up towards the ceiling. We're just gonna think of straight lateral stretches. So engage your glutes, press your hips forward just a little bit, and lean to your right, both arms overhead. Come back up, take it to the left. And up. Now, rather than arching, keep your ribs knitting together. You can even take your arms wider towards the T. Almost think of reaching towards your calves and the outside of your feet. Arms wider is going to protect your low back even more. Arms up is going to be more intense for the core, but sometimes it strains the low back. So check in. Go as far as you can. Keep that breath flowing here for eight, four, seven, four, six. Arms are stretching, spine stretches for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Come back up. Take your wide forward fold. Turning to your front foot, your left foot, low line. Step back, high planks. From knees or toes, five push-ups. Lower about halfway, chest leads. Press up. Lower and up. Again, and lower and up. Last two, lower. One more, down and up. Press back down, dog. Take your breath. When you're ready, inhale, stretch your right leg high, knee to nose, curl the spine. Inhale, stretch up. Now adding on, cross towards your left arm, find a little twist. Inhale, press up towards your right arm, come forward. Inhale, reach up, step it through, low lunge. Finding our high crescent lunge, reach up. We're adding on, bring your hands to heart center. Broaden your back, broaden your elbows. So we're gonna take these little twists. Option to come down to your back knee and really find that stretch here. So we're just gonna twist the spine, think of tapping elbow to your leg and come back up. Slow and steady, twist, then lean forward. Come up, unwind. Twist and lower. And up, three more, twist, lower. And up, last two, twist and lower. 
Up, one more. Twist and lower. And up, high crescent lunge. Warrior two, spin that left heel down. Right knees and toes are pointing straight forward. Extend side angle, elbow to your knee, reach that left arm overhead. Find that stretch. We'll straighten that front leg, reverse triangle, reach up and back. Standing tall, turn both feet to that side, hands down to the ground. Again, if you have your weights, grab them, re-bend your knees, heels and toes up. We're going to start to stand all the way up. Hug those elbows in. Now this time your palms are up and they're out towards the sides. We're going to do these little elbow out and ins. Take it as big or small. We're going to pulse the lower body again, out and in. Stretching and curling everything in towards the center. You can take it as big or small. Maybe just your arms are pulsing big, little pulse in the lower body. Maybe you alternate that wherever you're at. Breathe here for eight, for seven. Choose big and slow or small and faster for six. Maybe alternate it five, four, three. You can do it for two. And one, stretch those legs, turn those toes. Bring those weights back down. Turn towards our front foot, right leg, low lunge. Step back to your high planks. Now hold right here. Feel free to take a pause here, come to your tabletop. Just kind of look for, make sure you can see me for just a moment. So we're gonna take these toe taps. So from your high plank, your option is you can just tap your toes out to the side and back in. You want to take it a little bit bigger, maybe try a little hopping. So you're going to swing your right leg out, and then you're going to kick, almost like you're kicking and replacing your foot with your other leg. So you can take that variation or your toe taps out and in. Wherever you are, here for eight, for seven, for six, down dog in five, four, Release it in three, in two, and one. Press back to your down dogs. Find your full breath in, full breath out. One more round. Inhale your left leg high. Knee to nose, curl in, come forward. Inhale, stretch up. Cross towards your right arm. Inhale, hop towards your left arm. Inhale, reach up. Step it through, low lunge. High crescent lunge, rise up top. Hands into our heart center. Elbows wide, chest wide. We're taking those elbow taps. Again, you can come down to your knee. You're going to twist, come forward, unwind back up. Twist, then lean forward, unwind back up. Twist and lower, and up. Shoulders out of the ears, and up. Last two, twist lower, and up. One more, twist lower, and up. High press and lunge. Warrior two, spin that right heel down. Left knees and toes pointing forward. Left elbow to our knee, extended side angle, reach out. Lengthen that right side. Reverse triangle, stretch the leg, reach up and back. Standing tall, turn both feet to that side. Take your wide forward folds. Now we're going to bend our knees, turning our heels and toes out. We're going to come to a side lunge. So you can start to shift your weight into your left leg and stretch your right leg out. Feel free to adjust where your leg is. Maybe your heel comes down, maybe it doesn't. 
You can have hands on the ground or you can try to reach your arms up or even out. We're gonna kind of shift side to side. Think of like you're skimming along the water. So we're gonna to try to stay low as we shift through the center to the other side. Shift and over. Maybe test yourself, keep your arms out. Maybe reaching them up. Maybe you're taking a big arc and really finding that stretch and that strength in your quads. Maybe you're keeping it a little bit lower, using your hamstrings to shift. We're here for six. We're gonna come to that low lunge to our left foot in five. Yes, in four. Big or small for three. And two. And one, find your left foot in front, low lunge. Step back to your high planks. Hold to your high planks. Option to just hold it from knees or from toes. Five push-ups. Hug your elbows in and up. Chest stays leading forward and up. Three, up, last two. And one more. Tuck your toes, press back, find your down dog. Breathe in when you need. Breathe out when you need. Take about two to three more breaths. As you're ready, walk your feet up to your hands. Find your forward fold, separate your feet just a little bit. You can find that same rag doll, grabbing your elbows or bring your hands behind your low back. Maybe find a little alternating a bend in your knees. Nod your head, yes. Shake your head, no. And then we'll start to bring our feet back together to touch. Left foot's gonna step back to our low lunge. We're gonna take half splits. So back knee down, you can start to lengthen. Draw your nose towards that right knee folding forward. Shifting back into your low lunge. We're going to turn to our wide forward fold. Last little push here. Grab your weights if you'd like. Bend those knees and just kind of draw your elbows up. So as we stand up, we're going to just start to shift into our left side. So our feet are pointing towards that same side. Now, arms are going to be really out to the side. You can take these wides open and closed. Now, as we do it, we're gonna shift all the way to our left foot and tap your right toe in. So we're gonna stay balancing on our left leg. Right toes are just tapping out and in. If you see it from the side, weight into your heel. Your hips are kind of back. Your chest is forward with strong spine. So as we take those taps, you can also extend your arms out and in, out and in. Stretch it out. If you wanna test yourself, maybe float your leg out to the side and in, out and in. So it doesn't touch the floor when it goes out to the side, it stays lifted. Four, five. We're gonna switch other side, four. Three, two, one. Now step that right foot out to the side, bring your left toes in, sink into your hips, back heel. Now this time you can press straight up, back in. Out and in, out and think of broadening your elbows down and up. Maybe float that left leg in, out, in, four, five, four, last three, two, and one. Now draw those elbows in, step that left foot back out. 
Bend your knees, weights to the ground, turning to our front foot, right foot. This time we're gonna kind of launch forward, forward folds. Now switch it out, right foot steps back, low lunge. We'll bring that back knee down. Take your half splits. Stomp the nose, chest to our front leg. Few more breaths. Shifting back to our low ones. And then it's time to step right back to your high planks. And press back to your down dog. We're going to look back up to our hands. Walk our feet all the way up to take a seat. So last little push here. Planting those feet. Knees towards the ceiling. We're going to take a reverse tabletop. So we're going to rotate so our fingers are pointing towards our hips. Now more importantly, roll your shoulders up back and down. So that point where they're back and down is where we want them to stay. Turn those fingers in. You can kind of lean back just a little bit. And maybe kind of take a moment, kind of lift one hand at a time. Feel your shoulder blades squeezing together. Now we're gonna add the hips. So just like we did the very start, engage your glutes, press your hips up towards the ceiling. So we're taking a reverse tabletop. So we're trying to keep our hips high. Shoulder blades are squeezing together. You can notice that if you drop down, roll your shoulders down your back. Hold right here. Option one. Option two is to take a little shift forward and back. Forward and back. So this is going to be a lot for your shoulders and your triceps. If that feels too much in either of those or even in your wrists, Come back to your neutral tabletop and take these tricep push-ups. Bend your elbows, think of pointing them back and up. So rather than our hips dropping, maybe even look at your hips. Try to keep them square and lifting as much as you can. And up. You might not feel like you go very far. That's okay. You can take that, you can hold, or you can try that shift depending on your wrists, depending on your shoulders. Nothing is wrong here. Your variations for five, for four. We'll release it in three. And two. And one, lower those hips. Stretch those legs out. You can just kind of shoulder roll or you can kind of swing your arms across. Switch with elbow and arm is on top. All right, we're going to roll on to our backs, finishing out our class here with one last little thing for the abdominals and a twist. So as we come down, drawing our knees in, you can take a little rock, circle it out, and we're going to find our supine twist. So legs can stay zipped together and let them fall towards the left side. Just so your arms and your chest open. Now an option here, you can either cross that right leg further and kick that left foot back towards the center, or you can unwind and scissor your legs so your right leg is back towards the middle. We're going to try to keep our shoulders square, almost like we're in a picture frame, interlacing our hands behind our heads. We're going to lift our torso straight up and straight down, elbows stay wide, lift and lower. Lift and lower. Keep that twist in the lower body. So again, right leg can be crossed further or it cannot be twisted as far. Lift, lower. Lift straight up and down. Four, three, two, and one. Release, draw those knees in. 
back to the center. Take a little bit of movement here, maybe rock. Take some circles. And then we're gonna take that to the other side. So just start twist first, legs zip together. Let them fall towards the right side. Just open your chest, open the arms. So again, from here, you can cross that left leg further, kick that right foot back towards the center, or the other way, unwind the legs a little bit. So your top leg, left leg's back towards the middle. Interlacing hands behind our head. Again, think of your shoulders in a picture frame. We're lifting straight up and down. Lift and lower, keeping that spiral and twist in the lower half of the body. And lift and lower for four. Up. For three, and two, and one. Draw those legs one at a time into the center. You can kind of let those knees open towards your shoulders. Maybe take a happy baby, grabbing inner outer edges of your feet. And you can rock a little side to side. If you maybe just want to even extend your legs, legs up the wall, maybe kind of shake them out. And we'll start to bring our feet together, knees opening wide. So this is called a supdabhasana. So our knees are opening wide on the ground, feet are coming together, almost like you're a book. That's trying to fully really open and flat. You can have your heels kicked further away or a little bit closer towards your hips. Take just a couple breaths here. We'll start to one leg at a time and draw them back in towards our chest. And you can roll off to one side or you can kick and rock and roll a few times, kind of rolling through your vertebrae. We're going to come all the way up to a seat. Feel free to cross one ankle in front or even stack one leg on top of the other. We're just going to take a last little stretch here for our neck. So bring left hand towards your right temple. Just guide that ear down towards your shoulder. Sitting up nice and tall. An option is you can flex your right hand and maybe even start to try to float that arm up. Pressing the heel of your palm away. And stay here if that straight side neck stretch is great for you. If you want a little bit kind of towards the back, just walk your hand behind your head. Turn your nose towards your left collarbone. You can even start to float that right arm a little bit behind you. Release both hands to your legs. Gently roll your chin towards the center of the chest. And lifting our head up, a couple shoulder rolls up and back. We're going to switch that out. So right hand to our left temple. Start by just gently guiding our ear towards our shoulder. If you'd like, flex that left palm. And you're going to lift that arm up. Really try to press the heel of your palm away. If that straight side neck stretch is great for you, stay. Or hands behind your head, gently turn the nose towards our right collarbone. Maybe you float that left arm a little bit behind us.
And release both hands to our legs, rolling chin to the center of our chest. And then lift your chin, roll your shoulders up and back a few times. And just release your hands to your legs. Maybe you can close your eyes, take a few breaths. Ready, blink your eyes back open. All right, awesome work everybody. Thank you for joining me, grab some water. I always forget and I never cue any water breaks. So you doing what you need is perfect. And thanks so much for joining and we'll see you next time.